Hey guys, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how to send emails from your web application using Logic Apps, Service Bus, and saving the Service Bus key in Key Vault. So, of the video I went ahead and created our Key Vault service since we have done this before in one of our other videos, I'll link it down below. Um, so, I went ahead and did that and I also created um, our uh, service bus which is like five clicks it's the same as other services you go here you create a service bus the reason I created it is just so I can copy and paste all the uh, secrets into key vault and stuff without having to do it in the video but yeah it's very simple you just set your name and then you select your pricing tier your resource group and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then once it's created, we go here. And uh, we so I created a listen only for Logic App, and then a root manage key. And if the Logic App is in the same subscription, it will be able to pick it up. You don't have to type anything into it. And then I created an email queue. Just went ahead and did. I just typed the email queue and then create. Um, that's all I did for this one. Then I went ahead, grabbed this, the root key, and I put it into our email coding flamingo. And I grab this URL. I actually did not do this, so let me go ahead and so. In our app settings, we got to add a new section. We're going to call it Service Boss, and we're going to have the Key Vault link, which will give us a connection string, and then the queue name, which is the queue that we just created. So after that, we're going to go back to Azure to see the last few things. So after that, let's just create the the Logic app. So the common trigger is going to be when the service bus is uh, connected. I already created the connection with service bus, but it's like two clicks. And then you got to do the name of the queue. For some reason, you can't retrieve it, so you just do enter custom out value, and you type in the name. You leave that the same, and then this one, it's how often you want to check. In this one, we're just going to do three, uh, let's actually do less. Let's do every minute. So. Uh, obviously, if you don't have users registering that often and stuff, you should probably change it to once an hour or something, just because it's going to be running in the background, which costs money. Um, but in this one, I'm just going to do one minute so we can do the demo quickly. So then after that, we want to send it to Gmail. Because I'm using Gmail, you can use out. So let me go back. Like you can use Outlook. Let's just do email. It supports very a lot of email services. So in this case, I'm going to use Gmail because I'm just going to use uh, the code in Flamingo Gmail, but you can do Outlook, you can do many other accounts. So I'm just going to do email and we're going to do send email. And I already linked the account. Basically, when if you don't have one, it'll say sign in and it'll open a page here and you just sign in to your Google account and that's it. This is the cool part. So uh, when we're creating the message, we can, we're can we going to set some stuff. So in here we're going to do the, the two is going to be who we're sending it to. And then we can add some parameters. So we're going to do subject and body. And the subject is going to be label. And this is going to make more sense once we code it. But for now, it's going to be here. And then the body is going to be the content of the message. And this one can be HTML or it can be just text. In this one, we're just going to do text because the point of this tutorial is to see how to send email. To do HTML, you just change the text to a, a better HTML. Um, and then after that, we're going to do save. So that, that takes care of that. So now let's go back to our uh, page. We're going to do a new service. 
this item we're gonna call it service bus service. So this what's gonna get called by our email manager that will send the email. So we're just gonna send a queue. We're gonna make it static. Um, and we have to install uh, the Microsoft's Azure Service Bus, which is a great feature that lets you do that so you don't have to go search it if you're copying and pasting code. Then we have to add system.txt. And that should take care of it. So let's go through it. So we're gonna this is a function that like takes a connection string, so we're gonna pass that from the manager, it takes a queue name, it takes a to email, the subject, and the message body. So this very generic is gonna be used for any type of emails and all the creating the email and stuff, it's gonna be in our email manager. This is just to send a service bus, it has no dependencies, it has nothing. So we just pass all the information. So now we have to create our email manager. So we're gonna add new item email manager. And this one we're gonna have two strings and the key vault service. And, and this shouldn't be here. Be here. So here we're going to pass the configuration since we get some of the values from the configuration. So first we're going to create a key vault uh, service. Then we're going to get the secret and the secret as we put it in the app settings comes from configuration. So we have to get a, the, the URL from configuration. And then we get the queue name from configuration. This could be also passed if you have multiple queues. You could make it passed right now. We're just gonna kind of hard code it in configuration. Then we're gonna do a send welcome email. So here you have multiple types of emails. So we're gonna set the, uh, so we're gonna pass a person model, the user that just created an account and we're just going to send the subject welcome to my page and then we just say hi your surname first name last name welcome to our page glad to have you here and then we check if it's successful if it's not successful we would throw an exception and we would actually use app insights or something to log it that's for a later video so now we have the sending emails so now we just have to modify our people controller to actually pass the I configuration since we haven't done this before. And here we're going to pass configuration. And then we're going to go to people manager and do the same. this. Then we have to add, um, so we're going to initialize the email manager. We have to create a new one. Um, then after that, we just have to add the await of sending the email once it's saved. And this is going to Make us make the method async. We should change this to save async. And we should await this as well. So then if we go back to people controller, I don't think it changes this to. So yeah, we have to add here insert await. Async and 
that should take care of it. So now when the user comes, we're going to add the user to the database. And we're going to send them the welcome email. And what we're creating it is for when we send the the email when we create the email manager, which is in the constructor of the constructor, we get the key vault secret and we get the queue. Right now, these would be called every time we call it because we're creating the constructor even if we're not using it. If you're only using it in one of the services, so in one of the in the manager, you're only using it once. So right now, we're going to key vault, calling a key vault every single time anything gets called. We only needed to add a user. If we would want to make this more efficient, we would change this and like make the email manager a local variable here and pass the configuration, do this here. But in this case, let's just leave it general. It gives us the freedom to then do it later for other calls. So then after that, that should be it. So let's go to our site. save this so let me go back so if we have one that it was when I was testing let's delete this guy let's go to add user we're gonna do go I'm using the same account so it's gonna be It's going to be sent by the same same account for um, for who's sending it, who's receiving it. But you, you get the point. Like if I was sending it to another email, it would come from Coding Flamingo. Just in this case, it happens to be that I'm using the same account. Then here, so we sent it. So if we go back here, we can see that we created a new person. So in here we just have to wait and it already sent it. So as you can see here, it sent the email and it was 200. So then if we go to here, we can see that I get an email from Coding Flamingo to me with subject, welcome to my page, sent by my Gmail account and it says what we want it to. So this takes care of like having to set the SMTP server and all this stuff. And it took a few minutes to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.